What's that? What's that? What's that? Then, of course, you know it's your boy Behind Radio. Shout in as always. I got my podcast partner off in this thing. OG Gangsta Wicked, the Ghetto Mafia. What's happening with it, Wick? Well, hold on, let me check this out. Huh? All right now, all right now. I mean, what the hell? I got my Hawks on. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's it's it's, it's NBA season right That's now. Right. It's getting too close to the playoffs. The Hawks, we finna win it all this year. Come on, Bulldogs already won. Ooh. You know what we did to Alabama, Georgia? Did. Matter of fact, you know what? Be I got a joke for you. Come on with it. <sighs> Why, if it snows uh-huh. in Alabama today? Why won't the snow stick? I don't know, Wick. Because Crimson Tide fans are still salty. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> you got, Boom! You know, you know how I feel? Boom! You not finna boo me like they did Tip now. You not finna. You know, no, 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 Tip can learn a few pointers from you on how to take some booze <laughs> in this thing. <laughs> Boom! That's Nigga. a good one. They they still salty about what George did to him. Next. What else what else has been going through your mind lately other than this damn gangster comedy you coming with, man? Man, I'm, I'm I'm feeling good right now. Like I said, um I was looking at what well, you know, on a serious note, behind I was looking at uh jumping into the comedy for a minute. That's you know? Right. Uh I'm almost fifty years old. I'm gonna be fifty. At the end of this year, okay, right, forty nine. That's right. So I said, you know what? A lot of these comedians, a lot of these singers, ball players, everybody can come over to rap. That's right. Why can't rappers go over to 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 basketball? Like remember when P tried to play basketball, everybody yeah. was hating on him and stuff. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Man, you need to stick to rap. You need to, you know, nah. If the man can play basketball, let him play. Two chains can play. Let him play. Let the man. Who- if Tip can got to can tell some jokes. Yeah. And, and make people laugh, let him do it. I don't see nothing wrong with it, but my thing is, why do you think folks have been raising so much hell about it? Uh? Because Tip Whack. See, see, see. <laughs> t- <laughs> it took the wrong, it took, it took, it took the wrong person. See, they needed me up in there. You know what I mean? Uh, I could, you know. Boom! I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> But now, but you know, so let me let me stop. Let me stop. I listened to be high. I listened to uh, to tip. Yeah, I went in. I went in, and and you know, people kept calling me about a week. Um, you saw tip do you know the stand up comedy? He got booed in New York. You know, blah blah blah. I wasn't aware that he was actually already out doing full fledged shows. Uh, so I went and did my research. Yeah. I studied out. I saw the one from New York. I saw the one where where uh, he was doing a club. And some girl, him and some girl had some beef because the girl that. was, you know, that. saying something about him. But I found one of the clips on there that Tip had had, had did in, in one of the clubs here. And he had made a point in, in, in his show. It wasn't very funny, but he had made a point. He say, uh, you know, everybody in the, in, you know, comedians are mad at me because I'm doing comedy now. He said, he I think he said something to the fact that, uh, they mad at me because they wouldn't shit for 17 years, and now that I'm doing comedy, <laughs> they want to blame me for it. He said, if you wouldn't shit for 17 years, well, how's T.I. the reason to change shit right now? now? That's a funny-ass joke. And, absolutely. Yeah. And, then when I, and so, so when I when I heard that, I started listening to him, listening to him. And I, and I said, you know what? It ain't bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a few things that I, I you know, if, if, he, if you are listening to me, Tip, I'm following it. I'm supporting it, uh, and I'm gonna ride with him on it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Because us rappers, it's a small percentage of us, especially from our from our era, which we gonna get into that. Yeah, and and I feel like we do got to support each other. You know, so because it tip maybe tip breaks down the door for me, yeah. for for this rapper, for the next rapper, for a lot yeah. of us. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Real. So that's for real. him to stick his neck out there, damn. Um, you know, it's it, 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 it's it's humbling, and and we should support him. Now, I don't think that he thought that he was gonna get booed. Yeah. I think that I think that that did touch a nerve with him. When I when me looking in his face, I don't know him personally. I ain't never been invited over Thanksgiving dinner, so I don't really know him yeah. personally. But me looking at the video of him getting booed, 
it looked like it was something that he wasn't used to. I mean, this man been, you know, famous for a better of almost 25 years now. Yeah, yeah. And it ain't too many times you probably can count on a on one hand that this man don't hit a stage and has been booed to where you can't even hear the way he, what he's saying. Damn. You know what I'm saying? He all, he, 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 behind, he had to bring play one of his songs to get them off his ass. That's how bad it was. He played one of his songs, they calmed down for a minute, he was able to finish. But um, I would just say, man, you know, in listening to him, I, I think we should at least just, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's let's listen to what he's saying, you know, uh, and, and judge it that way. But I will say this right here, and then I'm gonna let you speak. Yeah. Uh, trying to skip your way, trying to take shortcuts, just because you're anybody and jump straight to the top mm. and, 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 you know, and gloss over what a lot of these comedians have been through for 20, 30, 40 years. They've given this life to it and think that you can just jump straight to the top and control a crowd. I saw, I saw that you can. It takes, it takes, you gotta, you know, hone your craft. You gotta perfect your craft. And I think that, you know, tip maybe, Jumped out there a little bit, you know, naive, thinking, "Hey, I'm Ti. Hey, you know, I'm 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 platinum. I'm everybody knows. I have successful movies, successful reality shows, successful albums. Why can't I just go out there and control fifty thousand people? You know, what I'm saying in New York City and make them think that I'm funny. I think it humbled him that show in New York. Well, now I feel like you know he should be able to jump out there on the main stages and raise hell. I don't want to see Tip in no hole in the wall trying to work his kinks out. Just go ahead. Life ain't long enough for you to be sitting over there playing around. If that's what the man want to do, jump out there in the water. Either you're going to swim, you're going to drown, or you're going to tread water. Something going to happen. Go ahead. And I'm not mad at him for going that route. Now, yes, to other comedians that have been Waiting they turn or waiting they time, it feels like to skip the line. But let me tell you something about this industry. If there's one thing that I have learned over the time I'd have been in the industry, it ain't no goddamn line. It's not a first come, first serve business. It's whatever the fuck happens, happens. That man got leverage. He's using his leverage to go and chase another damn bag. I don't blame him for that. And even with the booing and all of that stuff, it don't matter if he got booed, heckled, or applauded. Either way it go, his stock is rising because it's keeping him relevant in this day and time, and we're having a conversation about him right now. If he wasn't doing comedy, would you be talking about Tip right now? And that's a good, and that's a great fact. But here's something else: I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna play devil advocate. That sounds great, you know. Hey, man, I can I can barter my my career. I can leverage on this. I can I can go straight to Madison Square Garden or whatever and and do a comedy show. But what happens if he fails? Now, what does that do to 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 wickets and and to uh, you know uh, different artists that have that have sold just as many records as him and they are funny and they could have won, but it, since he came through first. And, and 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 he did succeed and failed miserably. Now everybody's skeptical about the next the next person that could have been. You see what I'm saying? So this is this is not just a matter of hey, you know I'm Ti. Let me go ahead and do whatever uh, because what he does is gonna affect the next generation of these, uh, these other rappers, these little dirks, these these uh, little babies and stuff. They gonna get our age, and then they might want to say, you know what? Either they're gonna say, thank you, Tip, for kicking the door in, now I can do that, or, man, if it weren't for Tip fucking up, man, I, I would've tried comedy because I'm funny, but you know, Tip ruined that long time ago. No, let me get in here. You know, if it's one thing that you should know about Tip is that he has a huge vocabulary. But in that vocabulary, failure ain't one of the words in there. That man ain't failed yet. Now, he done fell forward and he done went through some things but to this day, to keep it 100, when have you seen that nigga? You done seen him face some trials and tribulations, but you ain't seen him fail. And I don't think he's going to stop until he gets his shit together. Now, also what I feel like is this. You got Lil Duval in your corner. Now, you was there when Duval was jumping off the porch, becoming a comedian. Duval is kind of right in the pocket of where Tip is about to go because Duval got 
hit singles mm -hmm. that he could perform during his set mm -hmm. and he's funny as hell. So if I was Tip, I would go holler at Duval and say, all right, how do you work your music into your set? But Tip and ain't funny as hell. You see what you just said? I hate to cut you off. You said, you know, yeah, they do got the music in common, but it take, you have to be naturally funny. It's hard to just not be a funny person and then all of a sudden, anything else you can convert. It's almost like this right here. You're not going to convert into the NBA and you're five foot two. Not unless you could jump like Nate Robinson. Some stuff, let's just keep it real, you're not going to be able to do. For, uh, 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 it's easier for a basketball player, a football player, an uh, actor, anything to do a rap song than for us to do what they're doing. It's harder for you to go run a football right now for the Atlanta Falcons, for you to go in there and dunk on, you know what I'm saying, on on, on LeBron James right now. It, that's harder to do than LeBron James do a rap record. Shaq has proven that we can do rap records. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's easier for them to convert to what we're doing than we. Comedy is hard, man. But it, let me get in here. Tip just needs writers. Just like all of but these yeah, rappers. Man, no, buddy. That, no, uh, buddy. Just like all of these rappers got ghost writers out here, you got comedians that got ghost comedian writers too. Yeah, but they're and funny, funny he, though. They're, they're funny. But man, now, did, you you see, did you see his show behind? He was sitting up there telling folks, if you don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, raise your hand. Nigga was looking at him like, what the fuck is he talking about? Uh, um, uh, theoretically, you know, we're expeditiously moving to the, and then somebody looking at him like, what the fuck is he talking about? And then he's talking about, well, just raise your hand and I'll come down and give you a one-on-one -on -one session. It's not funny, B.I. <laughs> that is it's, funny. It's not funny, B.I. <laughs> had to it's come funny. down to give you a one-on-one -on -one session. It's funny because I just said it. It's not funny, B.I. It's not funny. Let's but just, see, no, but it, you got to get a man the opportunity. I mean, you know, the beautiful thing about it is is that we get to watch this in real time. I will, so it's going to play I'll, out excellent in his life story. It's going to be like, nigga, I went out there trying to do comedy. This shit got real. But eventually, I cracked a funny joke some goddamn I'm going to book the next shows that T.I.'s on. If, if, I, if I knew about them, I'm going to get on that ticket. I'll whoop T.I. Oh, I will whoop T.I. I'm calling it out. You can tell him I said it. I will whoop him at comedy. I guarantee you. That I will be if, if they bring both of us out. Remember how you do the Sandman <laughs> back in the day? Uh, what was that? A Showtime at Apollo. Apollo yeah. And they put him and they put me. I'm gonna win that comedy. Oh my God! Now I love to see that. I would love to see. Well, I, it's I, a I challenge. Gotta go see Tip too. I gotta see you and Tip on stage. I will raise some goddamn. I, I, I hell. just told you a great joke. You loved it. I hated that shit. <laughs> then I just damn near lose my shit. <laughs> You, you know what? You know what? I'm just be real. Fuck all this political shit. You and Tim gonna get up there and see who can get booed the best. And I'll be out there in the court just. Nigga, I'm booing both y'all asses. I, gar I, gar I guarantee you I don't get booed. Oh, this please. is a challenge. I'm throwing out the garlic, Tip and Wicked. Somebody tag him, somebody tell him, I want to have a comedy off. We can do it on IG Live. We can do it on Facebook. We can stand down at five points. However y'all want to do it. How you want to do it, Tip? Me against you, bruh. I said it. Okay, now you talking about all this versus stuff, man. We had a conversation earlier about, you know, the greatest of all time. I've been seeing on the... Uh, you know, the internet, I've been seeing on, uh, you know, just sports and stuff, you know, that conversation between LeBron James and MJ. Oh, my God. And people are trying to figure out who is the greatest of all time. Be high. Talk to me. I tell people this all the time right here. There is no greatest of all time mm. when it comes to basketball, mm. football, rap, singing, dancing, well, dancing, Michael Jackson. I get Mike that. But every everything else, there's no greatest. And I'm going to tell you why, especially when it comes to, since you said LeBron James and Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. There are some things that LeBron James does that he's the greatest of all times, mm -hmm. that, that, that he does. That's right. There are some things that Michael Jordan uh, did that makes him the greatest of all time. Yeah. There are some things that Will Chamberlain did that made him the greatest of all time. There are some things that Shaquille O'Neal did that made him the greatest of all time. Let's say, why why can't Nate Robinson or Spud Webb or Allen Iverson, who was five feet and under, they be considered the greatest of all time when you look at the what they had to use. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The 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 you know the bodies that the shells that they they lugged around and you had five feet and you 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 putting your arm in the 
and the goal, that yeah. should be the greatest of all time. See, when it comes to the greatest of all time, I think that that it should go by position. If you want to compare position to position, mm. who was the best point guard? Who's the best shooting guard? Who's the best power forward, small forward, center? How can you say that Shaquille O'Neal, that Michael Jordan is better than Shaquille O'Neal yeah. when they did two different, totally different things? My uh, Shaquille O'Neal can't do a lot of stuff that Jordan did, but can Jordan sit down there and bang like Shaquille O'Neal did and get slapped all in the face 50 times a game and still, you know, Dunking it and laying it up, and you know he did it in Detroit, it. but I don't know. But uh, and you see, he cried. They had to change the rules for him. He couldn't win a championship. Jordan couldn't win a championship when they were letting Isaiah to slap his back at. Mm. You see what I'm saying? They had to make the Jordan rules for him. So, so when I say, when you say, okay, the greatest of all time, you, just like you can't say that that Tom Brady is the great, y'all be hearing him saying he's the greatest football player of all time because he won seven Super Bowl mm. rings. Well, excuse me, it took a lot of people to help win those seven Super Bowl rings, right? That's right. And at the same time, can 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 Tom Brady catch a football? If Tom Brady was a <laughs> wide receiver, would he be the greatest? Mm -mm. If he was, if he had to run that thing, would he would have been the greatest? Come on now. If he had to block, Woo. would he would have been the greatest? Yep. So it should be a greatest at every single different position, and that, and that, and it's the same thing with music. You can't say that this blues uh, singer, a uh, BB King, wasn't as good as a Luther Vandross. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's to, it's two totally different things. Lionel Richie, who does country music, you know, he's not as good as Rick James, who did soul. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So there is no no true true greatest. It, is is Snoop Dogg? better than Carmen. There's two totally different things. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? Carmen, he 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 was successful in rap, in movies, in television. So it's Snoop Dogg. But they're two different genres of music. I agree with what you're saying when you speak of the position and stuff like that, because at the end of the day, you kind of do have to, you know, put it to the point to where it's like, okay, who is the greatest in that position. Now, LeBron James did play small forward slash shooting guard. Shoot, point guard, too. And point guard. Yeah, Jordan was a shooting guard. Correct. So, I mean, they play in the same position. So, now what we going to do now? Kind of. You know, jo um, uh, LeBron James could play one through five in his, <laughs> in his younger years. Yeah, no, in I his agree younger with that. years. And Jordan could kind of, too. Not so much of a five like LeBron because yeah. he wasn't that big yeah. and that powerful. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But, like I said, if you want to if you want to compare Jordan to somebody, compare him to Kobe Bryant, to somebody that's around his same height, same position, same style. You know, you know that that's if you're going to compare him. You can't compare him to... Uh, Will Chamberlain, who, uh, you know, if, if we want to go to ring, how many uh, Will had? 11? That nigga had more than enough, like Bill Russell had enough. Well, that more Bill Russell had yeah. 11. Yeah, had 11. Bill Russell was that the was one Bill with Russell. The, uh, both oh, hands okay. on rings. Okay, so if we're going to go on that, then, you know, you can't compare Michael Jordan to Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Two totally different games, two different positions, nothing is the same. So there is no GOAT. To me, they all make up. There's a there's there's a hundred players. They just did the seventy five. Yeah. There's a hundred players that they all could ride on the bus of Mount, uh, Mount Rushmore. Yeah. I don't think that Allen Iverson, the AI, takes a back seat to no player. I don't care if he didn't get any rings. Yeah. I don't care if L. A. had a yeah. better team and they beat him back then. Yeah. Who is not gonna take if you got if right now if you had to pick five players. You may not pick an AI, but you wouldn't be mad if I gave you AI, now would yeah. you? Yeah, no, if I, I, said, I need AI on my team. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? You wouldn't be mad if I took AI and gave you Isaiah Thomas. Yeah. You wouldn't be mad if I took Jordan and gave you Kobe. That's right. You wouldn't be mad if I took Tim Duncan and gave you Shaq. You That's see, right. You see what I'm saying? For me, when it comes to basketball and those conversations, when you speak of that GOAT language, you got Michael Jordan. As a young 80s baby growing up with Jordan and my mind just having to experience watching Michael Jordan just dominate and just do the most and put on a damn show, mm. I am forever going to feel like Jordan is just, as far as basketball and impact, right. Jordan made you want to go to North Carolina and play basketball. Jordan made you want to buy them damn shoes. Jordan made you go out there 
and play on your backyard goal and try to rock the baby to sleep and then dunk that thing. Jordan made you go out there and try to emulate him on the court. But he wasn't the only one, Doc. That was a Dr. J. Now, that Dr. Was J a, was a bad that, man, that, that too. Was, now, don't was, get it messed up. That was but a magic. Jordan took Dr. J stuff to another level. But what, what about, He took what, what about, Jay what about, was doing about, to another level. What about magic? Every time every time we passed when we were young, we were magic. Every time we shot a, <laughs> every time we shot a jumper, who do we say? Bird. Oh! Every time that we shot a jumper in that backyard on that on that rim with no nets, we would yell out, Bird. But now I'm looking at LeBron James, and this man has been playing for all of these damn years. And he has literally been putting up the points, the rebounds, rebounds the and assist. the assist mm -hmm. the whole damn time. Mm -hmm. So now LeBron is getting to a point in his career to where he's played longer than Jordan. He's played longer than a lot of these players, but he's been consistently giving them hell. Absolutely. Now, we saw LeBron go up there to Cleveland and bring that ring home to right. his hometown Correct. by his damn self. Right. By his damn self. Now, I haven't seen many players – Bring a ring home by their damn self, and then everybody. Uh, he did have Kyrie Irving, uh, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love, and uh, Kel uh, Kevin Love in his prime. See, they, everybody kept saying, "No, that that buddy, no, no, no." Kevin Love was averaging averaging fifty. He was leading the league in rebounds when they got him. D Kevin Love had the most triple doubles in the league at the time. And now, am I saying that he's uh, Larry Bird? No, he wasn't. But he was averaging 22, 23 points a game and 10 rebounds a game and is a great passer. He's not a clown. That's why Why you think that they traded uh, the mm. boy out there to uh, Wiggins for Kevin Love. And Wiggins was like the number one or number oh, two. he was pick. nine. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and you got Kyrie Irving. Come on, Brad. Kyrie Irving. Dennis Irvin. Rodman, arguably the greatest defensive player to ever play the game and rebounder to ever yeah. play the damn game. Correct. Period. Correct. Okay. Right. You're talking about the greatest of all time defensively. Right. You're going to have to put Dennis Rodman on there. So, so and, and, I, and I agree with and that. he but, played but, with Jordan. And I agree with that. And I ain't even said nothing about pimping yet. I agree with that. I agree, but he didn't win all the rings with Jordan. He, Jordan won two sets of threes. Remember that, okay? Two sets. He retired, went to baseball for the White Sox, and then came back and won a three again. So he three-peated both times he did it. Now, in saying that right Ooh. there, y'all try to act like LeBron James did not have any talent. At that time, J.R. Smith and all of them were good players. J.R. Smith, they all were at the time, not now. At the Scottie time, Scottie Pippen, they man. had a squad. Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen didn't do a damn thing without Jordan. After Jordan, when Jordan retired, Woo! what did Scottie Pippen do? Scottie Pippen got Woo! bounced around. He went to Portland. He went to San Antonio. He was he was in Denver. He was everywhere. He didn't do Michael nothing. Jordan said himself that Scottie Pippen could have did everything that he did on that damn court. Don't you Scottie ever disrespect Scottie Pippen didn't him. have the shot. J he didn't have the shot. You better not ever disrespect Scottie freaking he, Pippen around he, me. He can't shoot the ball. He couldn't shoot the ball. Athletically, what you mean he can't shoot the athlete, ball? Athletically, he was okay. I put Rodman and I let Rodman and and Scottie Pippen get behind the three point line, and I put I I put a hundred dollar with Rodman, man, to make more threes than Scottie. Then you got Tony Kukoc, <laughs> who was the greatest player of European history at the time. They brought him over there too. LeBron was out here putting folks on his back. Le LeBron will put your team on his back. And then he'll win that game if he needed to. Did you so see you that playoff game against the, the Pistons? What was the boy, what was the boy that that uh, that they had that LeBron had with him? The, the black guy. He was he he had wound up messing with one of the Kardashians, didn't he? Tristan. Tristan. He was leading the rebound. They had a squad. You trying to act like they didn't have it. They had Delonte West. Yeah, he fell Delonte off. Delonte was that. five. He was Delonte five. was five. But he wasn't Scotty Pippen. They could Nigga, shoot. Nigga, Horace Grant wasn't no bad boy either, man. They could Horace shoot. Grant could bring the fight. He was, a, he was getting the rebounds. That Cleveland team, I want to pull it up, but they had a squad. It was not a whack team. They had a squad. Let me see. Who they had on that squad? Let me see. Yeah, they was. Yeah. See. Oh, Shumper. Shumper was a good he was a good defensive player though. Shumper was a good defensive okay, player. Okay, okay, then let's do it like this, then. Let's make it make real sense. How many folks on that team besides LeBron were first time Hall of Famous? How many okay. Now, is Dennis Rodman the first go round Hall of Famer? Is Scottie Pippen the first go round Hall of Famer? 
You got two first go round Hall of Fame. Oh, who was the coach? Phil Jackson. Yeah, but Phil one Jackson, of the greatest coaches of all freaking time. Phil Jackson had two. He only won with two players. The best two players ever, almost ever, come through the league: Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. But he guess had, what happened? Who has he won Ooh. with? Besides, just like, just like, look with Pop. Pop won with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, uh, Manu Ginobili, and Tony Parker. What is he? What is Pop doing right now? Missing the playoffs hey, hey, every but check year. This out. He barely made it this year. Check this out though so with Phil. What has Bill Belichick done without Brady? Missed the playoffs two years in a row. You see what I'm saying? So you talking about what, what kind of coaches they are? No, the, the the coaches are the players that's on the on the court. Nah, buddy. When it comes to Phil Jackson. When it came to the Bulls, guess what? Jordan didn't start winning until Phil started coaching. They, they, Kobe didn't start winning until Phil started coaching. Because the, because, because the, Phil is one of the greatest. He's a Hall of Fame Phil coach, too. You got a Hall of Fame Phil, coach, Phil two the, Hall of Fame players, and Michael Jordan all on the same squad. Phil you going to win. To sit his big bubble head ad down and let the players m- play the game. All these other coaches trying to do too much. Doug, uh, whatever his name was, Doug <laughs> Collins. And, you know, they, they're doing too much. Phil said, man, I got Michael Jordan. Let me just sit down and relax. Phil used to be on a bit like that. <laughs> Phil, you have a hand in the drawers on half of the, half of the stuff. He went, Phil, how many times you saw Phil get up? Phil knee was bad. He couldn't even get up, could he? Phil called time out sitting down. Okay. Like that. Jordan now writing up the plays. Who who would you put in your top five NBA players of all time? Then, it, like I said, I you would can't have even to, do it. I would go guard, second, like you know, I, I would I would narrow it down to ten guards, uh-huh. then ten shooting guards, ten small. That's not boards. the conversation. So, then that ain't even the conversation. So, Everybody, get, you just like the okay, um, the, 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 the five, elementary schools right now, starting, giving everybody a damn my, award. My starting, everybody don't deserve a award. And five would be, I would put. I would put LeBron James at at point. Okay, that's nasty. That's 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 that's, that's it, it's close with Magic Johnson. Oh, it's close. But LeBron was a little bit more athletic than him. Just saying. Just but Magic, inch. Magic had a more a killer instinct. So you know what? Let's cross LeBron out. Oh. Magic Johnson at one. Okay. Two, I will put MJ or Kobe. I don't even care. Oh. You give me either one you want. Three, I would put, that's my small forward, mm-hmm. Reggie Miller. Mm. Reggie Miller. See, we got Curry out there. I will put at my power forward, Tim Duncan. Mm. That's who I saw. And at my center, who I saw, Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Huh? Hey. See, I forgot Whoa. about Durant. We talking about Durantula. We talking about Steph Curry. We talking about you can't you I'm can't narrow though. it down to five people. Behind. I gotta ask you this though, because when you say Shaq at center, I agree. Shaq is the most dominant center to ever play the game. How do you rate him versus? Hakeem the Dream. Hakeem Elijah gave him his business with yeah. it. See, I forgot yeah, about I forgot <laughs> about the Dream. When, I, when you see Hakeem. Don't get it messed up, LeBron. What with about the trade Ewing? We, 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 you know, he was just on that team, yeah, but Ewing yeah. was a beast. Ewing had that jumper too. So I mean, Hakeem, though, it was his moves in the paint are like legendary. He had it down to a science. So you know, I'm going with just like you was with uh, LeBron and Magic. That's how I feel about Shaq and Hakeem and that damn paint. Okay. Uh, power for it, you know. I like Garnett, man. See, I forgot I like about Garnett. I like the big I ticket because like he's a bad too. motherfucker. You trying to act like I don't like him? I yeah, like the, I like big, the ticket. big ticket. I like the big ticket because I mean he's just a hardcore gangster, right? Uh, at the three, shit. I got to put LBJ at uh, three right there, man. I got to put Who, LeBron. Uh, Larry Johnson? No, no, not LJ, but oh. LeBron James. I'm going to put LeBron James <laughs> at three. I'm going to my grandma. I yeah. knew. You know ain't here talking about grandma. Yeah, huh? yeah no, I'm going to put LeBron James at three. And then for my two, it's a toss-up. I don't want Give me MJ at two, and then I'm going to have to put AI at goddamn point. 
But see, AI wasn't a great point guard. But that nigga was he a ball was a, handler. He was a shoot. Po- he was a shoot. He was a ball handler. Yeah, yeah, but you weren't going. You know, Jordan ain't uh, go. He was AI came up two times up that court and he get Michael <laughs> Jordan that basketball. Go get punched. Uh, give it to Hakeem the Dream. Yeah, the one. Yeah, in the post. See, you got a problem. See, when you got a team like that, you got to get somebody that's a willing passer. Yeah, Magic Johnson was a, was a pass first. He didn't have to score. That's why I say LeBron too. Yeah. I could take LeBron at point. Yeah, I could take Magic at yeah. point because they didn't have to get. They're going to get it regardless yeah. because you're going to get that triple and double. disrespect them yeah. and they're going to hit it when exactly. they have to hit it. That's right. Know? But with an AI, I couldn't do that because, you know, it's too many other great scores on that team. Mm-hmm. Now, if I had a mediocre team, that he would be the first person. That if I had to, you know, pull along, like you said, yeah. uh, uh, Love and, and, <laughs> and Delonte West, then I'm going to get AI to pull them along, just like I would get, get Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is a is, – is, is, I don't think I ever seen a, a point guard can handle the ball better than Kyrie Irving. No, AI ain't got them man. handles. He's a bad AI man. ain't got those handles. One last question I got for you, Wick. It's five seconds left in the game. Who's going to take that shot? Five seconds left. What do we need? Do we need a three or a two? We need a we need a three. You 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 bringing that thing over half court. You you playing point guard with you coming up the court. You looking around and you got to pass to somebody. Reggie Miller shot. You going Reggie? I'm going Reggie. Y'all want Reggie? I'm gonna tell you the greatest clutch shooter of all time at a three point shooter. Yeah, who? Robert Horry. I'm going Robert Horry. Here you go, Horry. <laughs> and we went in that goddamn game. Robert what? I forgot Robert about motherfucking Horry. Horry, 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 Horry got 15 rings. I ain't got damn every five <laughs> points. But all, all five, five of the points <laughs> came in the last five <laughs> seconds of the game then when then the then game was tied. Then then Reggie Miller scored t- uh, ten, nine or ten points in five <laughs> seconds. He did that one beat. time. He don't did a lot. He don't hurt a lot of people. Reggie Miller was the was the most clutch shooter. That uh, he, Robin Horry was the most clutch shooter in the last minute he of that had goddamn Kobe game. Kobe Bryant with him. No, buddy, it ain't about his, having nobody with you. It's about being able to hit that shot with the lights yeah, on. Yeah, buying them down there. Then that uh, Paul Gasol. A lot of the stuff that Ori was shooting was wide open shots because you gotta once that ball going down to pal. Once that ball going down to buying them down there, you forgot about buying them. You know what I'm saying? Once that ball going down in the post, they lagging down there trying to stop Kobe from driving. Stop uh, uh, Gasol. So Robert Ori, like he said, yeah, a lot of that stuff would come straight to him. A lot of stuff they would they, he wouldn't be the first option. They'd go to Pal. They may block Pal. It'll trickle out there or or pick it up and shoot it. And you he did every time. He was money. He was, I, I, I he was just money. I will give you that. But Reggie Miller did it with three, four people on him. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the building. That's know how that Reggie push Miller push down. Do. If we knew that Robert Orr was getting the last shot, let Kobe had not been there. Let Pal Gasol not been there. So we gear our defense for Robert Orr. Now it's a different Robert Orr. What about Orr. the 20th Reggie game Miller winner is, by then? Every Reg- coach should have known, okay, Reggie Miller make sure Robert Orr don't get the ball. Reggie Miller and Ray Allen are shooting with defenses geared towards stopping them from shooting the ball. And they're still coming off and pulling that bit. Orr ain't doing that. Orr getting wide open shots because the defense don't come. How many rings does Robert Orr got? About 15. He don't got he made one shot for every team in the exactly. game. Exactly. Every <laughs> ring, he has a big, they call a big shot ball for crying out loud, man. And yeah. they ain't gonna hit the big shot. That man. And I ain't got no hate against uh, Reggie Miller either. He's a bad man, okay? Now, I done seen him get busy. He pissed me off with these Hawks many a damn time, okay? <laughs> right. But Robert Horry was there to end and that Ray damn Allen. game. And Ray Allen was clutch. Yeah. And yeah. Ray Allen was clutch. So, uh, but like I said, won't you ask, let the people put it down there. Hit them comments. You, now, 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 do you want the people to put down their starting five? I want your starting they, five, they, or, or you, your greatest you, of all time, and your greatest uh, clutch shooter of all time. Give okay. me all of it. Give okay. me all that, fam. Well, I'm going with Reggie Miller. I'm going with Robert Horry, man. But, it, but we, 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 we're disrespecting Kerr. I mean, we're disrespecting uh, um, uh, um, uh, Ray. Uh, for, no, for 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 the Nets, um, Jason Kidd. Durant, Durant, oh, and, and Curry. They went old school. Mm-hmm. Steph Curry and Durant, we're disrespecting them because when it's all said and done, they might go down as the greatest. So Durant may go down as the greatest score ever to play basketball. I can see that. 
I knew when Durant was in Texas that he could just put the ball in the basket. See, the whole thing is, yeah, it's certain separatist. players just know how to put the ball in the basket, mm -hmm. and he's one of them. And I'm done with them. that. He won the same over. thing with Steph Curry. I mean, they just put the ball in the basket, the, man. Curry, Curry shoots the ball behind and take off running before the ball gets halfway to the goal, bro. And that's ridiculous. We have never, ever seen anybody in our history of watching basketball shoot the ball. Come on. Turn around and take off. He about to play defense. talking about after the hit, then you, right when it's yeah. hit, you look a little bit. See, no, the ball is this halfway back on there. He is back on defense. <laughs> it's just now hitting. So that's a bad boy. But, but yeah, man, y'all put it in the comments, man. Let us know what you think. Now, what else was we talking about, Wick? Because you was talking about the Mount Rushmore of since basketball. Since we talking about, yeah, since we talking about uh, Mount Rushmore basketball, why don't we talk about the Mount Rushmore uh, uh, rap? Because oh, yeah. I'm definitely on there. Come on with it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Another whack ass joke. Okay, well, come on, man. Uh, <laughs> we was talking about the Mount Rushmore, but you was telling me that uh, you like the West Coast Mount Rushmore. I do. Well, what I was saying is you talking about uh, when we was talking about the uh, the Snoop Dogg. Yeah, that was Snoop Dogg, uh, Ice Cube. It's it's the they have an album coming out. That's is, right. Is it, it's called is it West Westmore? What what's the album? Mount Westmore. I think Mount Westmore. Right. That's right. Yeah. That's gonna be with Snoop Dogg. That's right. Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. e Too short. That's right. And E Forty. That's right. Right. Let me tell you something. I'm here for it. If Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. Too short. Yeah. E-40, mm. and Snoop Doggy Dog can't bring old school rappers back uh -huh. and old school music back, uh -huh. we dead in the water. <laughs> it don't, it, I mean, I'm, I'm, be honest, let me tell you something right now. For anybody that's out there listening right now, uh -huh. for anybody out there listening, if you're an old school rapper, you had, you had a good run, uh, you're still trying to make music and videos and it's frustrating right now. You feel like the young folks ain't listening to you. You know, EJ won't play your records in the club. You know what I'm saying? If you're feeling like that right now. You better push for Snoop Doggy Dog and 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 uh, Ice Cube and them to be successful. Yeah, because that's our last hope when it comes to our generation being relevant to mainstream rap right now to the to the kids and making them respect it. I don't think that we would ever be you know a, you know a fifteen year old kid ain't gonna never see eye to eye with your music or eye to eye with you and think you're cool. Mm -hmm. But as far as just you know still being competitive in the market, it's not even competitive now. You yeah. see what I'm saying? All the old school rappers are basically doing shows off of their old hits. Yeah. You know, if you try to bring a new record, the 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 the, the radio stations, the you know, the internet, you don't even get a chance. That's right. You, you understand what I'm saying? And it could be a great record. You could take a, I can do a record right now that's a great record. Don't get no love behind the record. Get that same record, the little baby or one of these little young rappers that's out right now. The same identical record. Yeah. He can rap it the same way I did. And then it's the best thing since sliced bread. My God. You see what I'm saying? So right now, bro, if if they fail, I'm pulling for Snoop Dogg, them. I, I mean, I'm really, really pulling for them. I'm posting stuff about them. I'm trying to get, you know, uh, not just our generation, but, you know, the generation that's that's out now. Hey, check out your forefathers. Check them out. You know, share this right here. It's hard to do because if they fail, we are dead in the water. Who who's bigger than Snoop Doggy Dog and Ice Cube? You tell me. You name Snoop. When you say behind, when you say rap, yeah, the picture that comes in my head is Snoop Doggy Dog. I'm with you on that. That's that. That's the poster child of rap. He should be. You know how they got Jerry West as the logo of basketball. Yeah, Snoop Dogg should be the logo <laughs> of rap. He should be. He should be the he logo. Be. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. You know what I'm really looking forward to out of that gang, though. I mean, it's the Mount Westmore, but I'm really looking forward to see what Ice Cube got to say. Ice I, I, Cube. I ain't, I, I ain't stunned what Cube got to say. No, well then, then you must not have had a good day today. <laughs> you didn't have a good day today. <laughs> because Ice Cube, if you were on having a good day today, it'd probably be because of Ice Cube. That's number one. Right. Number two, I think you're gonna need to check yourself <laughs> before you riggedy wreck yourself. That was That's number two. Fix, wasn't it? No, that was. Uh, but they want a fix. Oh Sometimes my God. Fix, They want to gonna check yourself before you're gonna riggedy wreck yourself. Because what they're gonna. When that, that was it's the, bad for your health. <laughs> oh, okay. It's bad for your health. <laughs> uh, you know. They don't know about Dr. Fakes. You know there. how we do it. 
you know, uh, we not, I'm not, I'm not hating on Ice Cube. But then also, when it comes to just that political commentary that's gonna move the culture for it, I know that Cube is gonna snap. You know, Cube is the type of guy that'll get on a little John track and say, "I told you, motherfuckers, Kobe didn't take that pussy." <laughs> Only well, Cube is gonna address <laughs> real shit. Not really. Snoop does too. Snoop does too. You, you, all of them does. All, all of, of them get all busy. Of them do. But Ice Cube is gonna put it in your damn face. He's gonna say f the police. Who else is gonna? Well, all, all of them gonna say it too. Too short came out. His first album was saying bitch. That was his bitch. first. Album. That was his first album. Snoop Dogg was blowing the chronic in front of police in in their face. He was down with that whole movement. I think that. I think that. That. To be honest with you, the wild card in all of it is E40. Mm. And I'm going to tell you why. You just Talk made my me. point for me. The reason why E40 is the wild card, one, he's the one who had, uh, out of those four, who has had a hit. The, 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 you know, the late, yeah. and the, no, well, the, the last recently. hit, recently. Yeah. Yeah. That's you see real. what I'm saying? That's one. That's real. Uh, two, we know he spunk too short up in that versus. Mm -hmm. that, that second. Third, E-40 never really got the shine of the other three. Mm. If I had to list them in order of, it would be a, them, Snoop and Ice Cube or 1A and 1B. Yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> yeah. uh, both of them success, dick dick. Uh, legends yeah. in rap. Yeah. Legends and just in entertainment. Television. Yeah. Legends in, uh, both of yeah. them, you know, foot, Snoop had the football team. Yeah. Ice Cube had the three on three. Come on. So that legends in movies, legends in sports. Yeah. So those two right there cancel each other out. Yeah. So, so if we're going to say, okay, we know what, we know what Ice Cube and Snoop Doggy Dog are going to bring to the table, right? Yeah. We can say that's a, a whitewash. I would that. But with, with, with Short and 40, I think that's, that's the I think that 40 has a bigger upside because uh, one, I think his style is the most unique style in rap that, you know, I think it's the most underrated style, but I think it's the most unique style in rap. It, 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 it's no category for what E-40 does. There is no category. It's, it, it's in the pocket. It's kind of talking. It's kind of rap. It's just fire. You understand what I'm saying? Two shovels with one million black men rising. They try to keep him down, but he always surprises them. Too short is Don't a Don't you ever short is, 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 sleep is, is, on short dogs no, in short the house. Dog is I know you ain't great. tripping. Did you see 40 you dancing in, in the your verses? Bed is. Did you see 40 dancing in the verses? Did you see him? Oh. Did you see the, the step 40 had? 40 toting 300 pounds around with that, with that step. <laughs> Short Dog is going to get the party started. He is. What's and on? then you got to give Short his love because he's really from Atlanta, even though he's from Oakland. Forgive me. I'll give you that. I we'll let Short Dog claim ATL. I, I love Too Short, but we're talking about Captain Save a Home, man. It's you know a, I mean? a winter show. <laughs> right, right. So, but I think the reason why I say E40 is because E40 is going to be a novelty to new school uh, listeners yeah. that don't really know their history. We know our history, so we know all four of them are great. Yeah. That's why they say uh, Mount or Westmore. That's right. So so it's not taking neither, nothing away from any of them. That's right. But if, if for a new school artist like EJ, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that ain't that ain't really hip, you know, he knows who didn't have are. him on repeat. He didn't have him on repeat. Yeah. I think that he would find E-40 a little bit more refreshing of, from what he's listening to today. Then, mm. then, 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 uh, too short. Then Snoop. They kind of had the old school type of sounds. Well, now nah, Snoop has the greatest he, delivery of all time. He does. You to can us. never know to, to everybody. He has the greatest to delivery us. of all time. Now E forty. If you ask my, if you ask these young kids now, if they put on a a, a, a Snoop Dogg or to put on an E forty, I think they'll ride with forty style. Because the young kids aren't biased. They don't know what Snoop One, did. They two, don't know that he three, shot somebody. Two, four. That murder, what's the case that you gave murder me? They don't know the about the gym and the juice. Me. They don't know about all that. I'm talking about if you just let them hear each one. I think these young, this new generation will ride with 40 style more. 40 definitely has the flavor. Out of everybody... Forty has the flavor. That's He's bringing saying. the flavor you in there. You just made my point. But no, honest. I'm not done. Snoop Dogg <laughs> has the greatest delivery of all time. B the over Pac? Yeah. Yeah. Now, nah, nobody can deliver bars like Snoop Dogg. Snoop's over delivery. Pac? Unless over, Pac can say one, over two, three, into the four. Over Big? Yeah. 
Oval Park. Nobody's voice, vocal tone, and delivery from out of their head to that microphone hits the mic better than Snoop Doggy Dogg. Face. He, he was better nope. face. No, his face didn't do that either. Snoop Dogg got the greatest delivery of hip hop all time. I, I, I. Okay. See, if you want to go down those other streets, you want to go down these other streets, then you need to go down Buster Rhyme Street. Then. Now, bu- if you want to be creative with deliveries, bus. then you right. need to go down Buster Rhyme Street. But if I'm talking about this man gets on there and you know it's him every time, That's and true. he just sounds there's nobody that sounds cooler than Snoop Doggy fucking Dog in hip hop. Give me one voice that sounds cooler than Snoop. If you want to be cool, everybody wants to be cool in this world. LL. LL ain't got no damn Snoop Dogg. L? Now you ain't even know. You know you just you threw that out there because that's all you had. That's how you have it. That one little pistol. You said that one little pistol. Like, cause that's the way you had, and you missed. I can agree with you. I can agree with you on Snoop. I can agree with you. Like I said, political should, commentary. I agree with you. That's Ice Cube. Ain't yeah. nobody giving you more political commentary than Cube. I agree. Getting the party started though. That's where Too Short comes in. I agree. So you got him to get the party started. I agree. And the flavor with E-40. They had the greatest mixture of goats in one group from one area that I've ever seen in my damn life. But but now let me ask you something. Should they have, since all of them from Cali, Mm -hmm. is that going to hurt the movement of that project because... You got a whole sector of the country that just don't get into West Coast music. Should they have, since you already got a Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube, should you have replaced the other two with goats from other areas, like a LL, like mm. a Andre 3000? Should you have mixed it, mixed it so now we get a little uh, a little flavor yeah. from from each you know corner of the country to go along with the two greats, Ice Cube and and Snoop Dogg. What what do you think about that? I think that'll work, but then you know we also got these Legend of the South tours already going on where you getting all of our goats going together. That, that's a, those are shows. I'm talking about this is a, 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 a album that they're dropping. This is a album. They're trying to save hip hop. Uh, this, this right this what this they're trying to save hip hop with this. So I say okay if you're gonna if you're gonna save hip hop. Snoop is a given. Cube is a given. The, them last two spots. Mm-mm, they had to put it down short. for the West. So the whole thing is, is that, you know what? They literally laid the smack down in their corner. So it's enough people in California to push them numbers to where they need to go. California, Washington, Nevada, that whole West Coast and stuff over there. They got enough people in those markets to really do the numbers that they need to do and make the effect that they need to make. And then also, I don't want to hit them West Coast niggas with nobody else. Okay. Keep it West Coast. Because okay. the production has got to be West Coast to go with them West Coast folks. You folks, see what right, I'm saying? Right, you know, right. Gangsters well, got to make the world West go Coast. You know, I love West Coast, too. I do. I'm just speaking for the the, the, the new generation. Um, Who would you do I, it in the South with? What four, super four, group? Four, what four. Mount? What is Mount Southmore look like to you? You, you, the whole South of Atlanta. Are we talking Atlanta? Yeah, or are we nah, talking we South? We going to Southeast. Boy, southeast. We going to Southeast. I will put okay. Me at power forward. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, you need to be a coach. You can be the coach. Okay, I'm the coach. Who okay. is the players? Okay, the players are gonna be. My first pick is going to be. This is going to make you mad. What? Ludacris. Ah. I'm going to take Luda. Luda's uh, going to give that E-40 flavor, though. That's why. He's got the most flavor out of all of these niggas. That's why. I, I'm not going to argue with you on that. My second one I'm going to take is Chains. Two Chains? Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to take Chains. Now, what, do you, what is it about Chains that made you say you need to slide Chains in there? Chains, he reminds me of Short. He's that, that party starter. That's right. You he see what I'm saying? Something, so, so, yeah. so that's what we talking yeah. about. Now nah, he's got to get so the party I, I, started. I'll I, I have to have chains in there for the party starter. Okay. Ludacris, like you said, the E40, he's going to give that flavor that, that we're looking for. Uh-huh. Uh, so that's my, two so that's far. That's two. I, I, I hate to say this right here. You I still would, got three more positions, so you can come with it. 
I would say face has to be in it. Yeah, you got to put face in I there. I got to put face in there. I will have to, if I wish Pimp C was alive, but I will have to put Pimp C in there. But I'll ride with Bun. Uh, I'll ride with Bun. Yeah, and I'll then, ride with and Bun. Then, and then give me, give me any one of, uh, I need CeeLo somewhere in there. Uh, I got to have CeeLo for, for just that, that soul. Yeah, I, I, I will have to have CeeLo somewhere in there for the hooks and stuff. And CeeLo gonna always give you a, just a little, a, a good enough verse on the end of something that I, I will have to have CeeLo somewhere in there. The old CeeLo now. Okay, okay. Uh, let me go ahead and give you my five then. I got to go Andre 3000. You can't go nowhere without Andre 3000. I can, we can, I can ride without 3000. No, you can't ride can without 3000. I got Luda. I already got Luda. I already got Scarface. These are two. You talking about lyrically? You talking about lyrically? Andre no, 3000 is lyrically the greatest of all time. I, I, I can't just say that. I cannot just say that. Not without saying that. I mean, you know, I, I could take Big. I could ride with Big and, and, and not miss a beat. I get I get what I don't know where this 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 thing has come from that Andre 3000 is the greatest of all time. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, we're going to save that Andre argument for later on. Is he just, more talented than CeeLo? CeeLo was a bad motherfucker is too. Is Andre 3000 more talented than CeeLo Green? Ooh. Why are you going to put me on the because spot you're like saying this? That you're, you're saying that Andre 3000 is the greatest of all time because of his rap. Okay, I, th let's just say, say, say okay, he edges CeeLo out. How about this? Let's say he edges CeeLo out in his lyrical content. Because CeeLo's a bad motherfucker on rapping no, too. No, I'm with that. But does he, can he out sing CeeLo? Okay, so now can let me go there. Play let, me, uh, let me go there with you. Can he, can he play the guitar. He'll take a walk in the park with his guitar. The man got his flute on deck to this day. He learned that later. CeeLo was doing that from a little boy though. CeeLo okay. been doing all that. CeeLo is just, CeeLo is the little boy. The, 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 when, I, when I think of CeeLo Green, I think of Stevie Wonder when he was young. You know, Ray Charles. <laughs> That's the soulness I get from CeeLo Green. Listen to his name, Al Green, CeeLo Green. Okay, you know Andre 3000, first of all, this man ain't even from this time, okay? He came back from the year 3000 and blessed us with those goddamn verses. That's number one. If you go back and listen to his music, <laughs> all of his shit is goddamn prophesying. He prophesied some shit, okay? Right. That's the best I can give you right now. Right. CeeLo Green... I love CeeLo Green. When it comes, CeeLo was fine, but lyrically, I didn't get enough verses out of CeeLo to put him up against group, Andre. Yeah. He was in a bigger group, so he didn't have no no CD that he could just you know that he had to play the part of Goody Mob because all of the all them and Goody Mob, you know, they all had their they, you know they all brought different things to the table. So to make that to put all that in a pot and make it work, he had to fall back on certain stuff. All of them did, all of them did. But I think you underestimate CeeLo Green. When I you ain't just, underestimate when you CeeLo Green. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Who Andre three thousand is? Is, sir. He, is, is is he is he way more advanced than Big Boy? You always talking about everybody talking about what Andre three thousand does. But how? What has Andre three thousand done without Big? Okay, I'm a. What has he like done? This. Synthesizer, microwave me, give me a shot so I can make seven babies. Pump. Virtual reality, virtual bullshit, and it's uh. Synthesizer preacher. So you don't mess this rap song. It don't even sound no. good. No. I don't like what you're saying. Basically, what I'm saying is the I'm, man, I love my the man predicted I Instagram I, 20 years before Instagram came out. CeeLo said the same thing on uh, Who's That Peeping in My Window? They were going to come with all the Damn. same stuff. He said the same identical thing. My thing is this right here. I'll give you that right there. But you you didn't finish You didn't finish your behind. So you, so, so you, say, you say Andre 3000. Andre 3000. You know what? I got to put G's in there, man. Jeezy. I gotta put Jeezy in there. That trap music, man, that 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 trap, if I'm gonna get somebody from that trap, trap. Then then get Tip. Tip is a, a much better lyricist. Tip, Tip is, is a much better lyricist than Jeezy. A much better lyricist. Now, now mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, Jeezy had that flavor. I know everything that Jeezy has ever said. But he has a <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I mean, nigga, I, I don't, I, you know, when I see Jeezy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, now I love Young Jeezy now because he does, he, his music 
it resonates with me because right along what I was doing. So I love, but he ain't, he's not a better lyricist than T.I.P. The songs that Jeezy has with the production that he has from Drummer Boy and Shout It Red, that trap music, I'ma just need that. That one album. But if we're gonna go, if we're gonna tip, it's gonna bring. Anthem. You're talking about somebody sitting beside Andre three thousand. Andre three thousand. But spinning, you ain't even look, 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 put tip him out like but, that but, on my but, team. But Andre three thousand is spitting all this stuff. You like my blue no, my red no, all this mess you just kicked up. Who's gonna come behind that better and be able to back him up? Tip or Jeezy? Jeezy gonna come in and slow it down. He, he's really one track rapper. Hey. He's really a one track rapper. It's gonna it's gonna be really about. <laughs> yeah. if, not, if, Je, if Jeezy is not really talking about work or Let's dope, get it. if if Jeezy not talking about work or dope, how successful is he gonna be? Tip has proven. I don't want Jeezy to talk about nothing but work and dope. Yeah, but Tip can goddamn talk about that and goddamn get with with Luda and 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 three thousand them on their style type of music. He can get in there and and get fly at the mouth. I don't see it from I don't see it from Jeezy. Maybe I'm wrong. Andre three thousand. Jeezy. Okay. I'm gonna throw Tip in there too. I got to throw Tip in there. Okay. That's three. I got two more positions left. And I got to give them to two groups. UGK. Okay. You got to give me the bun and the pimp. pimp. I just can't I can't do it without them. Right. And I'm going to need Ball and G in there. I forgot about Ball and G. Yeah, I, I'm going to need Ball and G in there. I'm going to need Ball and G in there. So, I mean, I'm counting those groups. And, I mean, if I have to go one... I'm going to have to go, I got to go with Bond. And, you know, ah. And so, you know what? Between you know what? Ball and G, it's like trying to separate Siamese twins. But I'm an MJG guy. I'm a, I'm glad you brought that up. You brought, you brought up you brought up Pimp C, and, you know, Bond and Pimp, and you brought up uh, a Bond and MJG. Mm-hmm. Why don't we ever bring up Run DMC? Why don't we ever bring up the real goats of music? The who 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 jumped out there fly. I know it's been so long ago. But why don't we ever give New York their credit? We 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 always assume that like we don't talk about the whole every time we do a show here and we talk about the best groups, the best duos, we name everybody. But the EPMDs, but the Run DMCs, but the um uh uh leaders of the new school. You know, a- am I tripping? Well, keep on it's, naming all of them because I'm just going to shut you down at the, and I'm going to tell you why at the end of what you're saying. Because, because you want to name EPMD, I, because Ron DMC, Leaders Ron, of the New Ron School. Ron came out with the all Camel. level. With the, did they, you're talking about game changing. You know, you, we still wear those shell toe Adidas to this day. Kids will still go, hey, give me a pair of them shells. You know, to this day, the all black leather with the hats to match. They, they run them see taught us what it was, uh, what swag was about back then. I'm telling you, you talking on the stage, you talking. They taught us swag. You know what I'm saying? But we never talk about run DMC. The reason why we don't never talk about them because they can't hold accountable to the outcasts. They're two different. That's now, like I don't you care. Said. I don't care what you got to Didn't say. Did I just tell you about when you went, uh, <laughs> trying to compare a center <laughs> to a point guard? Well, you need to leave out of here because at the end of the day, they're not. They're not even the same type of music. Behind. They didn't give us enough music. Run DMC didn't want you to talking about it. They gave us enough music. They gave. They carried the whole eighties and part of the nineties. With three songs, one of them was Mary Mary, and the other one that was one My no three songs, man. Come on, man. And, the, and like the Christmas that. song, it's, the Christmas song, like Mary that. Mary and My Adidas. That's Adidas. the way it is. Look, look, he like that one. He know about that one, and he young. That's four songs. They had way more than that. Mary Mary. Why this leaders, way? Talk this run way. Run this way. They, 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 come on. Come on, be high. They, they ain't outcasts. Rap grew. I don't care if it grew, smooth. What do you do? 
Ron DMC ain't no damn outcast, and that's why we ain't They're talking not about the them. Same group, but they are. They ought to be. You talking the about the greatest of all time? I'm telling you, Ron outcast is the greatest so group you don't of think all time. Ron DMC should be in the conversation with the greatest of all time. You had a Mount Rushmore of groups. See you now you want to have a Mount Rushmore. The greatest a, of all time can only be what? No, you said a group. You said a group. Now that's what I'm you saying. It could be one group. One group, and you don't. Think and that's outcast. It's, it's not Ron DMC. I'm I'm, I'm going with Ron DMC. Because you, you're a sellout. I said it. You a sellout. If, if, I, I, what I'm saying is this. If there is a, rap, a Mount Rushmore for a duo, Run DMC outcast. should not take a back seat to anybody. And They're taking a the back I'm seat wrong, to outcast. Y'all check me about it. They're taking a the back seat to outcast because that's the outcast greatest group of all damn time. Grew. No, they're not. Outcast, the, the, the music grew. Yeah, they're, they're, they're great. They, they, they are all time great. So is Pimp and Bun. So is A Ball and MJG. So the great. And if you want to talk about let, let now, and if you want to talk about the, the real deal, the greatest group of all time. Besides Run DMC, because they are the goats, they are the goats. Run DMC, but Snoop and Dre. Oh, that's the greatest. Here we go again. Come on now. Here we go again. Am I right? Then you can agree with me on that. Snoop and Dre, that's the greatest one-two punch of all time. Of but all they time. weren't a group. Outkast well, is the greatest duo. Well, Should have been a group. <laughs> Outkast is the greatest group of all time. Well, let, we'll let the people decide. I'm going with Run DMC. Outkast, and uh, I guess we can uh, wrap it up on this. <laughs> for right now, week you didn't piss me off enough, you know. Uh, I almost will. So I almost came across. Came across oh no! I that. almost uh, you kicked your butt on some Street Fighter shit. Fuck that Will Smith stuff. It was gonna be I some used, blood splattering. Uh, I used with a Chinese me. dude on Street Fighter. Yeah, I used Luke K too. I what, used. Yeah. What was the one did hand slap you from across? Oh no! You talking about the Scorpion? You Hondo. didn't grab. No, his name was Hondo. Oh. Hondo had a, he had a pepper. He he wore a big diaper. Remember? He's a kind of ah, tick, 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 tick. you remember it? <laughs> hey man, y'all hit them comments. Let us know how y'all feel, man. Behind Radio, shout it. OG Gangsta Wicked. We'll holler at y'all in a minute, man. We gone.